We're all about wild camping. Oh, dry camping, boondocking, living off the core, whatever you want to call it. Right, but what that means is that you're camping without any hookups and most definitely not any sewer. So, so what, what do you do, do with all that gray water? water? I was Jinx. just say that. Oh, well, yeah. Typically, because we use biodegradable soaps and cleaning products, we would just filter and sprinkle our gray water. But that's not allowed here at Burning Man. And it's not allowed on all public lands. The rules and regulations are all over the place, and it can be difficult to get a straight answer. Yep. So here are some of the most creative and inventive ways we've found to properly dispose of your gray water. Burning Man is a leave no trace camping event, which applies to all waste, even gray water. So it's a great place to get ideas and learn from fellow campers. We're headed to the AEZ camp, where they give guided tours to show off some very creative off-grid solutions. We'll start with some of the simplest gray water solutions. For pop-up showers, these campers use a thick towel to absorb the shower water. Then they hang the towel to dry in the sun with a bucket underneath to keep dripping water from puddling on the ground. Here, shower water is captured in a bucket, filtered, treated with chlorine, and then lightly sprinkled so that it doesn't pool and dries right away. This is okay because the water's been treated to remove the harmful bacteria. Then there's the good old tarp method. Using two by fours to build a border, a black tarp is secured inside and the gray water is dumped in a thin layer, letting evaporation take care of the rest. These campers simply use a big plastic basin to shower in and then set the entire basin out in the sun to evaporate. This guy rigged a shower with a black rubber base and fake grass. The grass absorbs the water while the black rubber heats up to speed up the evaporation process. If you're someone that likes a DIY project, then you're really gonna like these evapotrons. The idea behind these little inventions is to speed up the natural evaporation process. By far, the most popular evapotron is the Gravy Gone. Gray water is poured through a panty hose line bucket to filter out any large particles, and the water is trapped inside a tray. As the windmill turns, it moves the lower wheel, which is also lined with panty hose. The fine mesh of the fabric picks up the water, which helps it evaporate more quickly. You can keep them simple with wind power, or get super fancy and add a motor to keep the wheel turning 24-7, like this one, which is by far the most advanced Gravy Gone we've seen. Now remember, this is just for gray water. You know, dish water, washing your hands, shower water, that's it. Yep. The only way we know of to safely and legally dump black water is at a dump station. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So, anyway, that's all the coolest ways we found to properly dispose of gray water. If you know of something else we didn't cover today, leave us a comment in the box below. That's See you it. next time. See you next time. I'll just let you talk the whole time next time. You, you should. Can you handle this? I got it. I don't need me. I need some gray water. Wanna, wanna go with red splash? The hand of gray water.